question is going to go to Dr. Dorothy Balaba. The latest findings on induced abortions disseminated in Kampala by a consortium of different health lobbies now indicates that nearly half a million of unsafe abortions occur in Uganda. We, in 2013, we observed that there were 313,000 abortions that were procured in Uganda among all the age groups. What we have to do urgently amidst the restrictive laws, there are many things we could put right. One, let us prevent this unwanted pregnancy, unintended pregnancy, by making sure that all women who are in need of postponing pregnancies have access to family planning, to the right contraceptive. More than 10% of maternal deaths in Uganda remain due to unsafe abortion, with over 100,000 women being hospitalized for complications from unsafe abortion. This is just the tip of the iceberg. A typical young girl that we're working with, the typical adolescents that we work with in our community, are nowhere near that girl. These are the girls who know no one, even when they get pregnant, they will not have the guts to tell any of their friends. Among the recommendations that women seeking post-abortion care may be at elevated risk of experiencing severe complications from unsafe abortions or miscarriage. The answer is yes. The Ministry of Health is doing lots of initiatives to ensure that the lives of girls and women are actually saved. And I think in regard to this abortion, um, the whole topic about abortion, I would just want to highlight that there are three modalities into which we can actually tackle this. And we know for sure that there is the primary prevention mode, which is mainly um, contraception and abstinence. According to data from 2016, the findings indicate the level of unmet need for modern contraception in Uganda was high among sexually active unmarried adolescents at 45% than married adolescents at 30%. You mentioned about the policies, you have mentioned about the law, and in my, this is my considered opinion that currently we cannot get any frontiers, serious people in the legal, in the policy system that are going to favorably address this problem in the, either the area of, uh, of legal reform or policy reviews. Everyone that is just around these women have not created a safe space for them to embrace issues to do with their health. If it is anything to do with abortion, no one wants to talk about it. 